Hi, welcome to this IGCC revision video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to complete an enlargement of a logo or any given image. Okay, and the way we're going to do this today is we're going to use a one point perspective to enlarge the image. So the first thing you need to do in a particular situation like this, they've given you part of the enlarged logo for reference. Now what you need to do is you need to find similar points between the two. So if I take this corner and this corner, we need two points minimum in order to do this. We also mark those similar points on the smaller version of the logo. And what you need to do in this instance is you need to create a line going through both of the similar points that you started with and then repeat the process for the second set of points. Okay. So wherever these lines cross, this is what we're going to call our vanishing point. And this is going to be used as a reference to measure the rest of these shapes and enlarge them to the right hand side. So the bottom of the logo is complete. The next thing we wish to do here is to take a third point, which is the bottom right hand corner, sorry, bottom left hand corner of this L shape. And using that same vanishing point, we can strike through this. Now, we know that the edge of this L shape is in line with the edge of this leap logo at the bottom, so we can actually take a line upwards from there. And we know this gap is going to be an enlargement of this gap. Now, in terms of the height of the L shape, we repeat the process, go to the vanishing point, take a projection line from the vanishing point through that top corner, and this would give us the end height of our leap logo. Okay, so we've got the L shape here, we've got the full height and full enlargement. Now, in terms of width, okay, the width of these boxes, we don't necessarily know that, but what we can do now is we can run a line parallel to the leap logo. That always helps actually to have your T bar to hand for this to make sure that all lines are perfectly horizontal. And then from here we know we need to come up. Now how far do we come up? We can use this as a reference point. So if I mark this corner here on the first logo. From the vanishing point, I'm going to take it through. Okay, and a slight jog of the ruler there. So you must make sure that you hold your ruler nice and steadily. There we, have it. there we go. Now in terms of your upwards line here, we can use a vertical line using the drawing board and there we have it. For this top corner here, okay, we can find that quite easily by striking through. Now, <clears throat> if we go across from this top point that we created, wherever we meet that line, we know that's going to be our halfway point. We can take it down and then from here we can take things across. Okay. Um, now there seems to be a slight discrepancy there. Let's check that. Um, so the total is 8.4 and I'm on 4.2. So actually I'm spot on there. That's perfect. Um, right. I think here, I think I've joined slightly too low. So too high. So I'm going to just take that across and erase that previous line. Okay, what will happen in the exam, when it gets marked by the examiners, they have an overlay which is like a transparent sheet with the correct image on it, and they basically hold it over your sheet to make sure that they are the same, and if they're not the same, you will lose marks, so precision and accuracy is important here. So please feel free to adapt and change your, your work. Right, so we now have the four squares. Now, with the diamond shape, or the angled square, Okay, we, we've got four corners. One, two, three, four. And we can take it through first and into the second. Now this is going to give me my first point. My second point at the bottom, again, I'm going to go from the vanishing point all the way through. Uh, probably slightly further. There we have it. Um, now, one of the tricks 
but it'd be good to, to actually know. Sometimes if you actually hold your set squares up to the original, you can actually find that this is actually at 45 degrees. Okay, what the exam board often does, they use 30 degree diagonals, they use 60 degree diagonals, and they also use 45 degree diagonals, so you can actually use that now to help you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join from that first initial point down at 45 degrees to my second point, and that has given me my first length of line. Okay, so I can now take this up at this angle. Now if I take a line straight across, I know where that's going to stop. I can take a line from here and a line back down or up from here and there we have our fourth shape. Now just to check, I would always just double check that things are correct through the vanishing point, through the X reference at the top of this diamond shape on the smaller version, strike through and there we have absolute perfection. Now what I'd recommend in a situation like this, make sure that all your projection lines are nice and light and that your actual final drawn image is nice and dark so that the examiner can differentiate between what's a construction line and what's an actual drawing line. Now this has come up a few times before. Um, Cambridge like to use uh, enlargement using one point perspectives as a very good technique to learn and practice before the exam. Um, there we have it. Okay perfect enlargement of the logo. We don't need to know the scale because we already had a reference point. Have a go yourselves. Good luck.